Hello kids and parents, it's good to be with you even though we're far apart. I hope that um, YouTube can help us stay a little bit connected and I hope you all are doing well as you're back in school and, and things are going all right for you as we move towards Easter. We know, as we say every time we get together, that we remember that Christ, Jesus, keeps us connected to one another. When we all think about Jesus and remember Jesus and pray to God, we know that we're together and we light a candle every time to remember that God's light shines within us. And wherever God's light is, God is. So wherever you are, God is there as well. Well, let us pray. Gracious God, Thank you for helping us to be together, even if it's just through YouTube. We pray that your light would open our hearts, connect us to Jesus, and to grow in our faith. Amen. Well, today we continue the story uh, about some of the hardest days for Jesus and for his friends. Jesus has been arrested and his friends, including his closest friend Peter, have all run away and even pretended that they didn't know him. It's a bit of a scary and a sad story, really, at least right now. So let's listen to what happens next. The title of this story is, Jesus Must Be Killed. You can see Jesus there looking very sad and alone. The Pharisees and the other rulers had arrested Jesus. They wanted to kill him. He they took Jesus to the man who was in charge of the whole country. His name was Pilate. He was from another country called Rome. Only Pilate could have people killed. Why do you want me to kill Jesus? Pilate asked. Because Jesus says he's the Messiah, said the rulers. A Messiah is like a king. If Jesus is the king, they should obey him instead of you. Pilate decided to talk to Jesus himself. Are you a king, he asked. Why did you ask that, said Jesus. Did those other rulers tell you I was a king? Well, are you, said Pilate. In a way, I am a king, said Jesus, but I'm not the kind of king who wants to be powerful. I'm not the kind of king who has an army. Then how are you a king, asked Pilate. I have come to show people how to live God's way. That's why I was born. I want people to know what is true and what is good. Those who want to know what is true, listen to me. They will not always obey you or other rulers. Pilate thought a long time about what Jesus had said. Then Pilate went back to the rulers. I don't think he has done anything so bad that we need to kill him. No, no, cried the rulers. Jesus must be killed. The rulers had gone all around Jerusalem and brought crowds to Pilate's house. Some of the people had watched Jesus ride into Jerusalem on a donkey. They had shouted, Hosanna. Now the rulers wanted the crowd to help get Jesus killed. So when Pilate came to the door of his palace, they all yelled, kill him, kill him, kill him. But why, said Pilate. The crowd just kept yelling, kill him, kill him. Kill him. You see them yelling? Pilate thought, maybe if I punish Jesus, that will make the crowd and the rulers happy. So Pilate told the soldiers to hit Jesus with sticks until he was bleeding. They teased him and dressed him up like a king. They put a crown on Jesus' head. It was a crown made of sharp thorns that hurt his head. And the soldiers laughed at Jesus. You can see over here. Look at this wonderful king, they yelled. 
Pilate told the crowd and the rulers what he'd done. But they still kept yelling, kill him, kill him, kill him. So Pilate went to talk to Jesus again. Who are you, really? Don't you know that I have the power to kill you? You have no power except that God has given you, said Jesus. Pilate shook his head. He was afraid of these people. So he said to the rulers, here's your king. Do what you want with him. Kill Jesus if you want. And Pilate took a basin of water. He washed his hands so everyone could see what he was doing. Look, Pilate yelled, my hands are clean. It's not my fault if Jesus is going to die. What a story that is. I wonder why the Pharisees and the rulers wanted Jesus to be killed so badly. I wonder how Pilate felt at first when he didn't want Jesus killed and then changed his mind. I wonder what it's like to be so powerful and so cruel like Pilate that you could make soldiers hit people until they bleed. I wonder what those soldiers thought and felt about what they were doing. Did they want to stop? Or did they think it was their job? I wonder if they were afraid too. Maybe they thought Pilate would kill them if they didn't hurt Jesus. I wonder if Pilate could have protected Jesus instead of killing him. I wonder what would have happened if he stood up to the crowd and took responsibility and how different the story might have gone. What do you wonder about this story? Do you wonder what will happen next? Or do you know what happens to Jesus? We'll talk more about that on Friday next week. Right now, let us pray. Dear God, this is not an easy story about Jesus. It reminds us of things that we're afraid of. It reminds us of our fear of getting hurt of our fear of doing the wrong thing, of our fear of being asked to be mean or cruel to someone else and not having the courage to stand up for them. God, we ask you to help us learn from Jesus how to be loving always, how to stand up for people who are hurting and how to follow you and be brave, and live with hope. Amen. Until we see one another again, we'll be connected by God and by God's light, even on the hardest and most difficult days. Go in peace.